Greetings, beloveds. Beloveds, in order for you to have an experience of what you are, you grant yourselves the opportunity to experience what you are not. This then gives you a perspective. It gives you a, a framing of that which you are by seeing that which you are not. This was the experiment that Source had in breathing the breath of life and creating all of the various sundry life forms, dimensions, realities. You know who you are by the definition of who you are not. However, beloveds, what if you were to do the opposite and you could allow yourself to know what you are not and therefore come to understand what you are? You look upon something and you reject yourself as it and you say, I'm not this thing. But what if you could look at something and instead of rejecting it, you could say, I am. I am the madness. I am the chaos. I am all of that. But it was bereft of judgment. What if you could look at everything that you have said that you are not? I am not war. I am not famine. I am not a murderer. I am not a rapist. I am not a dictator. I am not a fascist. I am not a communist. I am not a this. I am not a that. I am not a Lyran. I am not an Arcturian. I am not from Andromeda. I am not a quark. What if you could look at everything that you say that you are not and find yourself within it? But there was not judgment that was applied to it. You look instead and you say, this is where my hand ends. This is where my body ends. This is where my consciousness ends. This is where my home ends, my property, my state, my country, my existence. What if you could allow yourself to expand to everything that you think that you are not? What if you could allow the expansion, as Jean had said, the expansion of these energies to encompass everything? There would be nothing that you were not. And you would come to see that truly you are all. For there is nothing that you are not. You have allowed yourself to define yourself and say, I am a woman, not a man. I am tall, not short. I am fat, not thin. I am old, not young. I am wealthy, not poor. I am a liar and I don't tell the truth. What if, beloveds, you could say, I am everything that I have said that I am not? Does this make sense? Does this allow you to blow your minds of what you have considered yourself to be? Does this allow you to take yet another perspective of what you have called reality? What if everything that you have said that you aren't, well, thank God I'm not like that person. Thank God I don't do this thing. And thank God I'm, I'm righteous and I pray and I meditate and, and I channel. Beloveds, all beings are channeling. All beings are channeling source energy. There is not one amongst you that is special. Whether it is, it does not matter who it is you channel or what it is you channel. Know that ultimately all you are channeling is love. What if you could look upon everything and instead of saying this, not that, that, not this, what if you could say yes to all of it? What if you could know yourself by the very thing that you have said that you are not? What if you could understand that your rejection of that is the very point of disconnection from source? So embark at this moment, beloveds, to allow yourself to see that there is nothing that is not you. When you take responsibility, when you say, I am all of creation, you find your freedom. You find your way back to the truth. And the truth is that only love is real and everything is love. And all that has happened is you have laid a judgment. You have projected a cage, a steel case, to put around a circumstance that you think is providing protection. We will lock these people up in jails because of what it is that they do. 
we will put away our criminals in the hopes that we do not have to confront them, in the hopes that we do not have to see that we are just like them. What you accuse another of, beloveds, is something that you yourself are doing. Do you have the honesty? Do you have the candor within you to see that aspect of shadow, that aspect of self? Do you have the veracity within you to say, I have done that, and that is why I judge it. I don't want to be that. Beloveds, let it all go. There is not but love. Look for and find the love. If you look for and find the fault, you will find it every time. If you look for and find the love, there is something amazing that happens. You find it every time. I look upon you and I see the love that you are. I look upon you and I see the perfection that you are. I look upon you and I see only light. I look upon you and I see myself. What if you could allow yourself to see yourself in everything that you have said? You do not want, you will not have, you could not be. What if you could allow yourself to be anything and everything? This is the key to freedom. For in that moment of allowing, you come to accept. In that moment of allowing, there's forgiveness. For the mind that would judge and say, this cannot be, this must not be. I do not accept this darkness. I will, I will need to fight. What if there was nothing to fight, beloveds? What if there was nothing except love? And there will come a moment when you will choose to recognize and to see and to know that only love is real. And the rest has just been a game. So go today, beloveds, with joy in your hearts and a skip in your step and a smile upon you with glorious faces that do not exist. Let the smile, beloveds, be upon your hearts. I am as God created me. Let that be the truth that you know. Go with my blessings always, and I will speak with you again.